everyone and welcome back. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today I am back with two of my favorite Beads of the Month clubs, the Hot and Trendy and the Two Hole versions. And these are just two of the multiple beading clubs that they have to offer, which you can see examples of in my Beads of the Month club playlist. Their other ones right now include Gemstone Beads, 11O Miyuki Round Seed Beads, 11 o Delicas, Czech Fire Polish Beads, and also their newest edition, which is the Gemstone Beads of the Month Club. You also have the option of rotating through all the different ones that they have to offer, or you can pick and choose from their different varieties like I have this time around and opt to get specific ones every month. To find out more information about what they have to offer and about signing up, you can check out the link that I have right down below the video in the description section. And I also have a coupon code if you'd like to try them out. That's OPAL10, O-P-A-L-10, and that will save you 10% off the first month of your first club. So let's get started with the Hot and Trendy Club for this month, which you can see the one that I received is in the theme called Cottage Blooms. So if you're currently a member of this club or on their rotation where you would get this one this month anyway, you may have received this particular theme or something different. It just depends on where you are in this subscription and what they have available at the time. But every month you're going to get a high quality selection of eight different types of mainly check glass beads, the hot and trendy club coming with more adventurous items. So think of this one as great for those of you who like to work with a little bit of everything. The club I have here is the single version, which is the smaller size. And for all of their different beading clubs, they have two different sizes. No matter which size you sign up for, you'll still get eight containers or eight varieties of beads in this one. The double or the larger variety would just contain twice the quantities in each container. So again, check out their website for all those specific details about their different options and lists including many examples of the types of different beads that you can expect to receive in any of their monthly packages. So our theme here, Cottage Blooms, we'll do a brief flip over and we can see some gorgeous shades of pink, purple, a little apricot, and maybe some green in there. So lots of goodies in store for us to look at today. And once I get organized, we'll take a look at each of these varieties up close. So first on our list is this package containing 40 pieces of the chalk white Lila Luster colored Cali beads. So we're kicking it off here with these light pastel pink three hole beads which have the ellipse like shape when you're looking at them from the face. There's also a hint of a transparent metallic luster giving these opaque beads an extra sheen and some very subtle variations of that light pink tone. Our second container listed is holding the Arcos Parpuka shape, seven grams of those in the Frost Parm Matte variety. I had to look that up because I knew that must be a French term. These parpuka beads, of course, are by a French business, and my two years of middle school French just weren't cutting it. So fun fact of the day, that word parm translates in English to mauve, which you can see these are definitely a mauve-like dusky pinkish purple tone, and they have that more frosted, less glossy appearance with the matte finish. These, of course, are in this almost semicircular shape or like an arc, as the name says. These also having three holes, one going up through the center and then the other two holes going up and down either side. In our third container, we find some wavy leaf shapes in the Amethyst Matte AB variety. And here are those 15 pieces included in that container. And this amethyst matches the Arcos quite well, especially with the matte finish that these have also. And then you have that combined with the AB coating or Aurora Borealis, which shows up on one side and gives you that stunning glow that shifts between blue, green, gold, purple, that array of colors. And you get a hint of the reflection coming through the other side. 
These leaves have a hole that goes through the side of the leaves base and so they would hang down sort of like a drop shape bead or would of course work in well with a bead woven flower or a round and layered beaded component. To go along with our leaves and also the cottage blooms theme, of course we have some of these trumpet flowers in the chalk white lazure blue variety. There's 10 pieces in the container. So these have that chalk blue sort of opaque glass base and then the finish that appears over top of that glass is adding some of that bronzy looking slightly metallic and mottled appearance also making parts of those flowers look sort of greenish and bringing in a little bit of that tone as well. These have a subtle three-sided shape with the hole going up and down through the bead and coming out through the center of the flower. Up next, we have seven grams of the Rizzo shaped beads in Rosaline AB. So lots of these little rice shaped beads with the transparent light pink glass and that AB coating that we see giving us the iridescent reflective quality that actually makes these light pink beads look even more peachy in tone in their overall appearance. And you actually get some of those hints of pink and purple, green, blue in that AB coating, which would make these a great accent and complement to some of these more pink and purple and other shades of beads that we've seen so far. This tiny little shape, of course, has a hole that goes through one end. So these have a drop like shape as well with the rounded top and bottom and are great also for bead woven projects and layering onto or with other larger beads because these are so small. In our sixth container, we see that we have some of these spike daggers, 20 pieces of these in the rose travertine finish. So these are something that's more unique than the dagger shape that we're used to seeing. As you can see, these have that more spike-like shape, which their name suggests being more narrow overall instead of getting a bit broader and then more pointed just at one end. They still do have the similar length as the standard daggers and also a similar hole placement with another drop like shape, which is different from the other ones that we've received so far and definitely could be combined with some of those other ones in a layered way to give a lot of dimension and texture. The background of these opaque beads is very, very pale pink and that travertine finish gives them a lot of that warm caramel color, which really tones down the pink and also makes these look more stone-like. In container number seven, we have eight pieces of the Briolette shape in blue luster. So these have the hole located at the top at that more narrow portion of this pear-shaped drop bead. And you can see that subtle faceting that they have as well with an ever so slight shimmery luster coating. And these not being overly shiny, but definitely not matte either. Our eighth and final container is holding the quadrilental four hole beads, seven grams in total. And these are in the color opaque lilac luster. So we have the four holes going through this round disc-like shape, all equidistant from each other, and this color being a very pleasing pinkish purple with the smooth glossy coating. This just being another example of the fact that you can even get four hole bead shapes in the Hot and Trendy Club variety. So it's one of those where you can expect to get a mixture of all different sorts of things and adventurous check glass beads like this to work with. And the nice thing is you don't always get these same eight varieties every month. You get something different every time as well because there's so many different shapes and varieties out there. So every month you're going to get a really unique surprise, not only in terms of your color choices that they send, but in terms of the actual beads themselves. 
So here you can see everything all together and how well thought out this club is, which I can say is true every month. They really put a lot of thought into what they're putting together to bring you a variety of things that you could work into projects from one package, but also could combine with other things you probably have in your stash or things you've gotten from them in the past. Another perk of their clubs is that they offer you access on a monthly basis to three free downloadable or printable beading patterns. Oftentimes those patterns include more of these unique shapes. So like for example, the Cali beads or the Arcos or the Quadrilentals. Over time, you can build up a decent library of beading patterns, just saving those every month. And that link is provided for you printed at the bottom of your paper invoice that comes in your monthly package. One other thing too with this club and also the next one we'll take a look at with all of those different shapes. If you're looking for unique ways to use some of them and are not sure what to do with them, you can also check on my website on the bottom right hand side. I have a ongoing list of all different bead shapes that are linked to different tutorials or patterns that I have shared over time. So for example, with the Cali beads, if you look for those on that list and click on the link, it will then bring you to any of the particular designs that I've shared in video tutorials that you can access, which have included that particular shape. So this I think is definitely stunning and consistent with their high quality clubs that they have provided over time. As usual, highly recommend that. And we'll take a look at the second club, which contains the two hole beads. This is also the single size, so the smaller one, and you are welcome to opt into the double two hole beads of the month club, which would also contain eight containers, just twice the quantities, for example, of what you'd see here today. So in this package, the theme is called Beachcomber. And we see that this one has some really beachy looking blues and greens and also some of those sandy tones. And I must say this coordinates really well with the other palette of the Hot and Trendy Club down here, which happens to be kind of nice. So once again, I'm gonna get organized and we'll take a look at all of these varieties close up one at a time. So in this club, you can expect all different types of two hole beads that are going to be mainly Czech glass, but could also be coming from the Miyuki Tila line of beads. And just like in the Hot and Trendy Club, the cool thing is there's so many different two hole bead shapes out there. You're going to get all different shapes in each package. So not just the same ones over and over again, giving you lots of different options for expanding your beading, particularly if you're into off loom bead weaving. So in container number one, we have 40 pieces of the cream travertine half tile shape. So these are rectangular in their shape overall, and this is a neutral variety, but with a lot of interest having that sort of caramelly drizzle over top of the creamy opaque white base. Next, we have a container with 20 pieces of the Matte Peridot Diamond Tiles. So you can see these fresh, light, spring green colored beads, similar to the Czech Glass Tiles, which are just in that square shape, but these have more of that tilted rhombus-like shape or like a diamond. And those holes are going off parallel in a diagonal direction. In container number three, we find five pieces of the Transparent Sage Travertine Luster Pyramid Beads. So these are stunning and really unique with the luster, which gives us that reflective metallic shine that is still transparent and lets us see that greenish glass or greenish overall shade that comes through. And also that travertine finish that shows up on the outside surface, adding a little bit of that brownish mottled appearance. And I wanted to pull these earrings in because I already had them nearby. And these are a design called Blue Jean Queen by Barbara Falkowitz. She's the designer behind those earrings and ones that I had made recently and actually include two of the shapes that we're going to see today, including those pyramids. So there's one example of something you can do with this particular shape. Those two holes, of course, running through the base of the pyramid and pretty substantial on their own. So they hold up really well as focals in an earring like this. 
And then they also include some of the super duos at the bottom, which we're going to see a variety of in this particular club in just a moment. In container four, we find 20 pieces of the slate blue travertine flat silky beads. And at first glance, these might look like the check glass tiles. However, they have the holes that are actually going up and down through either side of those pointed areas. These also have that bluish and slightly greenish bronze appearance. Overall, with that finish showing up in various spots over top of that medium blue and sort of bringing in this palette all together, those beachy shades of blue and green. Container 6 holding a neutral, opaque, ivory, ceramic look, Helios Parpuka variety, and there's 7 grams included. So we have this opaque, light, sandy tone with the very glossy shine in this sort of tulip-like shape with a hole going through each arm of the bead, providing for a more narrow portion where it points down there and then that slightly scalloped top area that's broader. Also in the Puka line of beads, we have the opaque blue-gray Tinos with 7 grams in this package. So here we have more of that blue, but this time without the extra travertine or other sort of coating, giving us more of a pure blue color in this trapezoid-like shape with those holes running up and down parallel from the wider base to the more narrow top and giving us some of that relaxing blue water-like color to add to this very calming palette. And next here are those super duos I was talking about, and these are in the turquoise green Rembrandt color variety with 12 and a half grams in this package. This isn't all of them, I just have a portion of them in my hand for us to take a look at up close that have this sort of deeper seafoam type of color and that finish giving us some splotchy areas where you see some of that very pale gold metallic type of wash. This just adding a little bit of extra shine to these already glossy two-hole beads in this very popular two-hole shape. And in our last container, we have seven grams of the Opal Aqua White Luster Ginkgo Beads. So here we have the light pastel blue with that delicate silvery satiny sheen. Another gorgeous combination here in this ginkgo leaf shape with that one having this rounded side and then the more pinched side where you can see the holes are framing that on either side. And we have another coordinating shade of blue just in this lighter color, which brings us this very well balanced palette. So once again, another stunner. I'm really pleased with this Beachcomber themed two hole beads of the month club and can't recommend their company enough. I've been getting all sorts of different clubs from them on a monthly basis for almost five years now. So I have a playlist containing those unboxings. It'll give you lots of examples to reference of things they've sent over time and the consistency and quality of the things that you can expect to come in these clubs. And like I said, these just happen to be two of the clubs I really enjoy working with in particular because they inspire me to come up with new things based on the new and different shapes, which come as a surprise in the mailbox and get me excited to play around with new things. So you're welcome to pick up either of these clubs that you saw today separately, or you could choose their rotating club, which will rotate you through all of the different ones they have to offer, getting something different every month. And don't forget, they also have the Findings Companion Pack, which is another monthly add-on to any existing beading subscription. And that one I shared in the video for Beads of the Month Clubs earlier this month, so you can get a peek at that one there. And let me bring over that other tray so we can see all these together before we wrap it up. Aren't all of these so beautiful together? I know they're not meant to go together, and that's certainly not what's advertised. The themes and palettes can vary across the board, but it just so happens these two make for such a stunning mix. 
And even though these are the single varieties of the clubs, there's still so many beads here to work with. And a lot of times with these shapes, a little bit goes a long way. So again, if you'd like to try out one of their monthly clubs, you can use the coupon code OPAL10, and that will be listed down below along with the link to their website. One other thing that really sets Beads of the Month clubs apart is their customer service. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to them via their phone number or their email address, especially if you might be located outside of the U.S. and if you're wondering if they ship to your location, they're more than happy to talk to you about that on a case-by-case -case basis and perhaps provide you with a specific quote to your location. So that wraps it up for me. I want to give you all a huge thank you for being here to unbox these with me. I hope you enjoyed checking out the beautiful goodies included in these packages. And if you did, feel free to give the video a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to comment down below and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you'll be aware of future unboxings like this one as well as seeing some of these materials pop up in future tutorials and finished jewelry updates. So that's all for now, but I hope to see you all again real soon. Until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day, and as always, happy beating.